Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox 2 video and today we're going to be doing another episode of the object competitions but before we begin guys I just want to say a massive massive thank you as last night we hit 6,000 subscribers so just a massive massive thank you guys it's absolutely insane and I cannot thank you guys enough because I was watching the counter um, as it was going up into the um, high um 5900s and it was um getting really close but yeah i couldn't <laughs> see it all the way as i was going to bed so that yeah, kind of sucks but oh well because yeah it's absolutely amazing that we have actually got it so yeah just a massive massive thank you guys as it is absolutely amazing and i know i say it a lot but it's just absolutely amazing how well things have gone and yeah it's hopefully um things um keep going the way they're going because it's really really cool um how it's going so yeah just a massive massive thank you to you guys and also for a 6,000 subscriber special what would you want to see i was thinking a q and a or something since i've not done one of them for a while but let me know what, what do you want to see as a as a 6,000 subscriber special that isn't a face reveal because i don't want to do one of them but at the moment anyway but um yeah any ideas for a 6,000 special if you um you guys want to see anything specific let me know in the comments um but yeah without that all out the way now massive thank you again but let's get into this so today we're doing Theia. so if you don't know what this is this is a theoretical planet that may have hit earth long ago and there's also theories about this cell created the moon and all that there's also theories about this but yeah the theoretical planet Theia, which is a mars sized like object and speaking of that here is mine so um we'll just start off straight my one since i've had a custom on for quite a while so this is um my one here so what i've done with mine is i've given it a mars atmosphere since it's a mars like object i thought ah, let's give it a mars atmosphere I don't know, like that's a little extra to it i think so it's mostly just a rocky sort of world with very little amount of water because i don't want any um a, a lot of that on there i've also got a climate mode on it just to add a lot of ice and stuff because if it hit earth maybe it brought water to it i don't know um but yeah may maybe it was a cause of some of the water maybe not all of it i'm not sure but i'm not theorizing about fair but yeah i've given it a bit of climate mode up there so if you look in the picture here we can see there's um a nice amount of um ice and stuff up there just to add a little more um customization to it i think it looks pretty cool for a Faya, it's about the size of Mars as well, 2,900. We'll compare it to Mars, since it is going to be like a Mars one. I've not spawned any of these in yet, so I'm interested to see what we got there. But if I quickly... Uh, that's the regular Mars there. So I've pretty much got the Mars size pretty much correct, but that's a comparison with Mars quickly. But anyways, let's um get into what you guys have made now. So um, let's put Mars over here for now. Right, so there's Mars. Right, so if I search Faya... All right, so we'll start off with Diamond Creepers one here. So let's see what he has gotten. Wow, that is a very, very blue one by the looks of it. So it's an Earth-like object. Well, I'm not sure if it um, was this green, but yeah, here's his one. So he's gone with a fully, like, colonized Faya, which is pretty interesting. Maybe it was Hattable. I, I don't think we'll ever know the answer to that fully, but maybe it was a Hattable planet and it just collided with Earth and it, all of its water transferred to Earth or something. Maybe. I don't know, because I'm not really... I don't really know much about the Faya theory myself. I know sort of the basics, but okay, so it's got some interesting stats as well. But yeah, he's literally got a colonized Faya here. So there is that. Any client mode? No client mode on this one. But yeah, there is that. So an Earth like object. I wasn't expecting one of those, I have to say. All right, next up we've got Gigaman's one. Now this looks pretty interesting. So let's see what he's got here. Ooh, so it's a glowing sort of world. So he's gone with more of a wasteland sort of um, hellish, more, more of a hellish like object. See, with mine, I've gone for a more like just very dry sort of object i guess not really anything um too interesting so i didn't i don't really imagine fair to have water on it i have to say i just uh, just a little bit at most just to give it a little extra customization with that but giga man has gone with a full like hellish sort of world and obviously this would have hit earth as well so that looks pretty interesting enough so i do like the red and the black on it i have to say that's a nice theme with the blue atmosphere as well that gives it a little extra um theme to it as well i do like the blue atmosphere with that i have to say and it's also quite hot in temperature so there is that all right moving on we got um pdt marks one now so let's see what he's got this one's enormous jeez is this almost the size of earth it is yeah i'm not sure it was that big but anyway here is his one so he's also gone with a red and black theme but he's gone with an orange atmosphere instead of a cyan blue on there so pretty um interesting um color atmosphere that's quite cool actually i'm liking that this thing's enormous as well but yeah i'm liking the um color on that um for the atmosphere there It'd be quite a hard choice pick between these two as well because they are quite similar all right so there is that one um let's see next up we've got mr missilots fair so he's let's see what he's got here so oh what's this is this an io or a Merc is this a coloured Mercury? Ooh. I'm going to spawn another one of these in. I want to remove the water and have a look. 
at what texture that is. I think that's a mercury. This is cool. So he's tinted it um, by the looks of it. Um, let's um, turn it off. Is that a mercury? Or is it an IO? Or is it an IO color on a mercury? I'm, I'm not sure. But that is a very interesting use of mod in there. I think that is a mercury or a moon with an IO texture. Definitely looks like the IO sort of colors. Especially in the north. That looks like IO to me. But is it... I think it's got like a, I think that's a mercury mixed with an IO there. That's quite cool. I have to say that's a very um unique way of modern adding all of those together to make that. Also got quite a lot of water on it as well um, with that one there. And then lastly we've got um Cho Lewis's one. So let's see um, what we got here. So he's also gone with a very sort of dark and brownish sort of color. So there are those, there is that. So let's see, has it got any customization underneath it or is it all the same color? Okay, so he's got oh, there's a bit of green on it as well. Quite a dry sort of object because I'm pretty sure the Fea Theory, uh, or Fea Theory, sorry, don't um, believe me 100% on this. I'm pretty sure it didn't have water on it, I have to say. I'm, I'm not sure. So I'm, I'm going off what I would think would be a realistic look to it. So, hmm. So I do, I do like this a lot. I have to say, I really do like the way that looks. But does it really fit what a Thea is? Like, let me actually let's soon see what. Um, I'm gonna go and actually look this up quickly. Thea. I'm, I'm sure it's meant to be. Well, it's not meant to have water on it. So, I'm not entirely sure. I mean, it look these these two here, they look good, but I'm not sure they fit the description of what Thea is. So obviously it's an object that hit Earth, but I don't think there was ever anything about, oh, Faya was hattable. Did Earth already have water on it before Faya hit it or not? Like, I don't think we'll ever get to the bottom of that completely, but from what I would believe, I don't think it would have water. So I'm not entirely sure. This is um pretty interesting. So if I just look at Faya. Okay, so here we go. Okay, so it's a, yeah, a hypothesis. A hypothesis my pronunciation so off um hypothesized ancient planet in the early solar system and it apparently collided with gaia or gaia which was originally well i didn't actually know earth was known by gaia at one point so apparently it collided with that and Theia was an earth trojan about the size of mars okay so it's about apparently it says it's about around six thousand in radius or, or or in diameter so it'd be about three thousand in radius that's quite interesting actually but from the looks of it, or all the concept art, it doesn't look like it had much water on it. I'm just looking at some concept art right now just to see if there's anything I can really imagine it in my head with. But I've always imagined it not to have water. So I'm going to go with my personal preference on this. And I'm going to put those two to the back. Because to me, a Faya doesn't have water on it. I don't know, is it just me or do you guys agree with me on that? But to me, a Faya would be something like one of these four here. I know there's my one there. That's always been my vision of what a Faya would have been, but it's between these three here. Now, hmm, let's see. I, I really do like the red and black on these two. I have to say, I really like that orange atmosphere on Mark's one there. But this one also has an orange one, but it's more of a it's more of a titan coloured sort of orange, a more pale, darker orange there. So between these three, now, of course, I do I do like the blue on it, but does it really fit? Maybe the is would you say the red is too strong on that? I mean, with this one, if I just uh, remove the atmosphere, how does the red look like on that? See, the red's a lot more less present on this one because I think the black is the prime. Yeah, black's a low elevation, which would be the primary color. But on this one, the red is the primary color. But maybe is that too much red for a planet? I mean, that does look quite red to be more of a realistic. I'm not. Mm. So I'm trying to go off what I'd think would be realistic here. So that to me. This one here, to me, would be more realistic than this one. Not because of the atmosphere colour, but I think there's too much red on this for my personal tastes. Remember, this is a fact. Oh, this is a... I was about to say, this is a fact. No, this isn't a fact. This is an opinion. So, yeah, just um, stay aware there. This is, not, this is not a fact. Everyone can have their own opinions. Everyone can believe what they want. But to my personal preference, I like this one more than I like this one. So, it's between these two here. So, we've got the more... We've got the more sort of bright look to it. And then we've got the more sort of um, cloudy sort of object to it as well. But if I compare it to mine as well, there's mine. My one is, doesn't relate to these two at all. So I can't really use that as a comparison at all there. So it's, it's between these two here. Now, 
I do like this, I have to say. I think I think that does match a Faya quite well. Just a very sort of rocky object. There's no water here or anything like that. It's mostly just rock and cloud or rock and atmosphere, which I assume is what it would have been like. In my um, imagination, I would, have, I would imagine that Faya would have been something like this. Just a very dull sort of looking object, not really much color to it. So these two match my sort of um, description of it, I have to say. But I do like the way that looks. I, I really do like the, the orange atmosphere really adds a lot to it as well if it didn't have the atmosphere then this would be the winner but I'm I'm not sure if I want to pick like does that red and black I'm not eh. does the red and black look too unrealistic to be a planet? I mean no planets we know have red like that that may be a little too bright like maybe if I spawn another one of those in for instance if I um, spawn another one of those in and I change the red to a slightly darker sort of more paler red because i think the red's too vibrant i think it needs to be a bit more pale like maybe something like that maybe if i just darken that as well i'm thinking something like that may look better i mean hmm, i'm not sure so i think i think that is too much red for um my personal taste i think if it's going to be realistic which is what i'm basing this off i want it to be look as quite realistic as possible even with my like edit to it, I'm still I still think there's too much black on it as well with this. So yeah, Giga Man's one for me has too much red, but I think this one has too much black. I'm not sure the black really fits it because, but, but maybe it was a volcanic world and maybe it was a black color, but I'm not sure. I, we we will never know. Um, so, oh, I'm, I'm, mm. Because we don't know what the real one looks like. If there was a real one to base it off, then it'd be a lot easier here. But. I like the way they both look. I really like that, and then the cloudy atmosphere. I think that's a really nice effect to it. It's, it's not obviously. I, I don't think of Faya to be a really fancy-looking object. I think it to be quite a dull, like I said, a dull sort of colour to it. Maybe with an atmosphere or not. Because I don't think we know if it has an atmosphere or not. But to me, it's a dull sort of object. Not really much to see on it. Just basically just something like Mercury with an atmosphere or something like that. Not really much to much to look at at all. I think it, I think it. It's just mostly a boring rocky planet i mean like they, it may be a mars size but still i it never i don't think we know what color it will be so it's just up to my preference which one i like more so i'm gonna go with this one i've decided i like this one i think the colors on that below the atmosphere i think the, the atmosphere fits it quite well as a very sort of dusty unhattable planet because I, I believe that in my head i believe it to be something like this I think the colours are pretty good, like with the brownish and the green there, that's quite a sort of dull look to it, which I think would be quite good for a real one, possibly. I mean, I, 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 I do like my one as well with the Mars atmosphere, I think the little Mars atmosphere is just a nice hint to it's a Mars-like object, so it's got that little atmosphere there. That's my um, personal preference of what a fail would look like, but I'm liking, I do like this, I have to say, like if I just remove the atmosphere off that, I, you could say the colours on that are slightly similar. I mean, it's got with this one, you've got this like very dark sort of pale yellow, and that would that would basically just be a light. Oh, it's very similar to that indeed. Look at that. So that's a very light orange, a very light orange. But if you look at mine, mine's just very very. That is a very similar sort of colour. Like if you just look at them there. So that has pretty much hit my own one in almost. It was very similar though. So if I just remove the water from this as well, with my own one. They are fairly similar. I know this one's got a bit of white on it. I mean, that can always be changed since it is my own one. But I do like the way that looks. So, yeah, this is this is going to be my winner today. So, yeah, congrats to um, Cho Lewis here um, for making this object. And obviously, a massive thanks to everyone for sending these in. Because obviously, without you guys, we couldn't do these competitions. But, yeah, to me, that is my personal preference. So, you guys, let me know what do you think um, is the best out of all these. Now, like I said, to me... These two look good as well, especially this one as well. I really do like the IO and the um, Mercury textures merge there, but it's to me it's not a Thayer. It's like just just in my mind, it doesn't fit what a Thayer is to me. If you get what I mean, I know I've said it a hundred times, but I don't think it looks right with water. With Thayer, I don't think Thayer was ever. Just in my mind, I don't think it was ever a planet that had water on it. Like, maybe it had a little bit. That's why mine has a little bit. Um, but I'm not sure that much. That's a quite a lot of water on it. I'm not sure it would have had something like that. So that's just my preference, though. So you guys can always um, 
let me know if um, what you think is um, the best out of all of these as well. Because I'm interested to hear your thoughts on this. Because um, oh, that wasn't meant to happen. What happened there? That was that was very weird. So let me just respawn that. But yeah. So yeah, let me know um, which one you guys think is best out of these. Cause I know um, on some of the ones we've had or done before. Now a few guys have had different opinions, which is um, fair enough as well. Oh, we had one more from Guren, did we? Is that even spawn? Oh, that's got water on it as well. So yeah, sorry I didn't spawn that in Guren, but to me that's still way. That is way way too blue for um, a fair, if you ask me. So yeah, even though I did spawn it in late, that definitely won't top my favorite pick of that so yeah, apologies to not spawning that in i didn't notice it because it had that white circle on it that's why i missed it so i think i'm guessing i thought it was one of these little ones here so i think i just got must have got mixed up with one of them so apologies for that um but yeah either way it doesn't beat my winner so yeah there is that one there so yeah apologies for missing that again but yeah let me know which one of these do you think is the best guys because um it's pretty um pretty interesting that everyone's different um everyone's different like visions of what failed look like so see everyone can have their own vision i'm not saying any of their visions are wrong but just like like i said it's just an opinion not a fact so please keep that in mind when commenting saying oh you're wrong or whatever because obviously I, no one is right here anyway because um we don't know what the real one looked like and we never will since it's long long history we don't even know if the object existed so yeah there's that but that's just my opinion anyway there so yeah guys let me know um let's um well i just had a i just had a mind break there yeah let's see if we can go for 30 likes on this video uh, as well guys and yeah just a massive massive thank you for 6,000 subscribers again um uh, it's absolutely insane how things have gone here um recently so just a massive massive thank you because it's re really um accelerated fast from 5,000. so yeah, maybe 7,000 is just over the horizon. Who knows? But yeah, just a massive, massive thank you. It's absolutely crazy um, how well things have gone. And yeah, again, like I said it like 100 times already, but let me know which one of these do you think is the best because I'm interested to hear your thoughts on this. Would you go for a planet, a fair with water on it, or would you go for one with no water, a more bland-looking object? Let me know um, which one you think because I'm interested to hear um, your thoughts on that. And I'm pretty sure all of the creators of these objects. So yeah, massive, massive thank you to all of them for sending these in. And actually speaking of um the competitions the next planet we are doing is actually pascal a lot of you guys wanted to do um or make a pascal so for next competition see how well you can remake this because this will be our next competition object so yeah i'm interested to see what um you guys have got for a pascal because you have pascal is the next um object so yeah let, i'm really interested to see what you guys have for that so that'll be probably in like a week's time um when we do that episode but yeah get to making pascals if you want to do the um competition for the next one but yeah that is about it for today guys so yeah just a massive thanks for 6k again i know i'm repeating myself here but just a massive massive thank you it's absolutely amazing and yeah i will see you in the next video goodbye